Let me go. Let's go uh, get get get. <laughs> bip, 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 bip. Welcome back to another uh, Noosh weekly vlog. Uh, once again, I am Chris Noosh, and I'm going to walk you through what I'm working on in my studio this week. Um, today, it's Monday. It's it's getting close to the end of the day. This morning, I had to package up some orders, take them to the post office, do all that fun stuff. But now I can start getting into uh, the next week of what I am going to be working on. Over the weekend, I have carved... I think 12 more of these little tiny carvings. So at some point this week, I'm going to be painting these guys. Um, but the main project that I want to work on this week is last week I completed this, this tiny little um, framed piece. This piece is called three compies, three compies. And, and so I want to, I want to create a series of work that are similar to these pieces. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is I need to I need to sketch out some ideas of what I want to put on those. So uh, for the rest of the afternoon, for the next two hours or so, I'm just going to sketch, come up with some new things to work on. And uh, yeah, that is what I'm going to do. And I'll come back on here and and let you know what I've got going on. I've got this one idea um, of like a flamingo in flight. You never see them depicted in flight, but they they have this uh, unique shape that they go into when they are flying. So, so that's my idea. I'm gonna see what I can do with that. Uh, last night, yesterday, I did a handful of drawings that are in the uh, animal portrait um, style. I'm gonna call them, and these are for the small little framed pieces that I'm going to be doing this week. I did, I think I did nine sketches in all. I did, uh, what did I do? I've got a, a, a rooster, a bat, a hippo, a donkey, a puffin, a badger, a hammerhead shark, a koala, and a flamingo. Um, eight of those are square pieces. One of them's gonna be a rectangular piece that is going to be longer than it is um, tall. And that is gonna be the flamingo piece, the first one that I sketched out. Um, so I'm gonna do these. This is what I'm gonna work on this week. Uh, the first step in completing all of these is for me to go into the dusty room and to cut up some wood uh, to create the frames and then I'll cut up some wood to do the carvings on too. So let me go. Let's go uh, get get get. All right. So I gotta go uh, use my uh, my miter saw, cut some frame wood out, and then make some frames up for these pieces. Uh, so I've been struggling all day um, with trying to make the frames. This is a test of the emergency bore system. What I'm saying here is boring. So editing room Chris came in and uh, tried to make things a little bit more interesting. I try to make things more complicated than they needed to be. What is he even talking about here? Let's take a listen. And it's really made to uh, accommodate a fence of some sort. So yeah, there's no way I'm gonna make you listen to that. Basically, I try to make things too complicated and I simpled things down and I was able to make the frames in a very simple way without overcomplicating the whole process. All right, back to your regularly scheduled vlog, cutting this clip now. Oh, hey, sorry, I didn't hear you come in. I'm just finishing the last of my cuts of the frames that I'm making. Yeah, I'm revoking this Chris's ability to vlog right now. All right, bye Tuesday, Chris. <sighs> All right, Wednesday afternoon now. I've got 
all of the frames cut and ready to put together. Um, I just have to wait for the gluing times. So I have a handful of them completed. You see a lot of that on the screen right now. And last night I had an opportunity to just to sit down and carve. You remember that little frame that I was testing stuff out with? Well, I have it made and I cut the littlest, smallest piece of wood for that frame. And last night, just for fun, I carved this little monster onto that frame. So, fits nicely in there. Um, so I'll have the small little monster piece to go along with all the other pieces I'm working on this week too. Okay, let me show you where I'm at with all the other pieces. I've got a big old stack of wood and I've printed off um, the drawings that I have and I've attached them to the wood so I can transfer them to it using some transfer paper of the bat. So all I need to do now is just transfer these drawings to the wood and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And with them all drawn out onto the board, it's now time to start carving. It's Friday morning and all of the carvings are now finished. They are 10 uh, varying size blocks, including the little monster that I carved earlier, are all done. Uh, now I gotta throw some paint on those. And I also have the tiny carvings that I did uh, over the weekend that I need to throw some paint on as well. So I've got 10 of the, the squares and I think 13 or 12 of the tiny carvings that I need to paint. It's Friday. I think this is the closest that I've ever had uh, to the end of the week to paint and ink everything I've ever had to do. I'm cutting it close, um, but let's see what I, I'm definitely gonna do some inking today. Maybe I don't get them all painted and are all, are all inked today, but I'm gonna try. So let's get going. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we can get done today.
All the square pieces are painted. All of the tiny carvings are painted. They're all done. And now for the most fun part, the just to see how it all comes together, now it's time to ink them. So let's get them inked up. It's well after quitting time now, but all of the pieces are inked and finished and done. And I think they look fantastic. I, I especially like the flamingo. It's got such a goofy look. And what you don't know in the background, I told you earlier in the week, but uh, that is a flying flamingo, which I want to incorporate that flying, a flying flamingo idea into a future piece. I don't really, you don't really see a whole lot of that um, when you see flamingo art, it's mainly the one legged flamingo standing in the water kind of deal. So I want to do a flying flamingo at some point coming up soon. Uh, but these are all finished. I keep looking over at them. They're all, they're done. And I actually really, really like how they all came out. The frames themselves are not done yet. They're still, you know, raw wood, but that's something I'll deal with next week. Um, but it's all finished. Um, I have a handful of t-shirts still to print today, but I am going to leave you here um, and just do that real quick to end my day and then start a good weekend. So thanks for watching this week. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of these pieces in the comments. Oh, and um, I, Alistair asked me if I had done a badger ever, and I have. I have a t-shirt design of a badger, but thank you for the idea for one of my pieces this week. Ah. The badger. The lighting's terrible, but there's a badger. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next week. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>